Morning campers, we are in Basel for the weekend. So cheap easy jet flight and uh, we got it all orange, so staying in the easy hotel. Here it is, there's Tris in the tiny bathroom. It even says It does even say on the door. Tiny loo. Tiny loo. And do you know what? It is. Um, so just here for the weekend, so uh, we've got a list of places to go, mostly museums, which is just as well. Gosh, it is snowing. We all have those days where you just want to throttle a swan. These are so pretty. So it is. It is now definitely shitting it down. <laughs> So we are going to the Jean Tingley, isn't it, museum? Yes. It's still absolutely throwing it down here with snow. But yes, off we go to the museum. A dog. Cow dog! Oh, this is very pretty. Oh, right in the eye. Oh. Do you keep getting in the eye? Yep. Yeah. Going off on the ferry, like which is linked, and this up here, and, and then goes by just the current backwards so and forwards. Ooh, nice old walls, walls. Oh. This castle is mine. <laughs> there we go. It's probably spare. <laughs> There's some nice flats over there too. <laughs> to the paper mill and there's the wheel and I need a cafe because I'm getting peckish <laughs> it's amazing isn't it look at that detail on this it looks like a bit of paper A fact here that we need to know. That's why we come to these places. From fold versus folders. Uh, this is a very big gate, which is very, very pretty here. So it's a very attractive place. Lots of fountains and plazas and lovely old buildings. Yeah, lovely. I'm not entirely sure about the fountain over there, but there you go. This is walloping. Oh, that's impressive. No need for a sundial, but at least it has stopped snowing. Cool, isn't it? There we go. So this is what was behind all the snow this morning. Here's the ferry. This is the town hall, and uh, yeah, that's uh, that is a pretty bright building. It has started snowing again, but we found this dragon, and smoke actually does come out of his nose. Can you see? Go on, do it again. Do it again properly. Come on. I'm going to be here a while now, and the snow's going down my throat. <sighs> oh. Come on. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I, I promise it did just have smoke coming out of its face. There! See! See! <laughs> okay, that's cool. <laughs> nice and clear this morning. 
and less cold actually. There we go. Oh, nice view. It went under the bridge. Mm -hmm. That first one's definitely a witch. I would say, to be honest with you, the first one's got an unfortunate face. It was very witchy. I think that was just some sculpted mayonnaise. <laughs> <laughs> sculpted mayonnaise. Just um, caught the corner of my eye then, I was like, I think, he's, I think his tongue and eyes are moving. <laughs> and now we're off to the pharmacy type thingy museum thing. It's very early, thank you. I don't see one narwhal tusk, I think you see two in a week. <laughs> I've already decided it basically looks like Clark's house. He just needs more glass cases and extra frogs. Lots of nice little pictures from the kids have done. Lots of pictures. Lovely, 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 lovely. Oh dear. So this room is super cool. This shows the fragments that remain of a wall mural depicting the dance of death. Basically there were 37 pairs engaged in a dance of all ages and members of medieval estates and each pair was accompanied by an inscription in which death himself addressed the condemned um, and it was painted during 1431 possibly due to or under the influence of plague so obviously you know people weren't so happy. Um, but it was then pulled down in 1805, 1805, but thankfully some people rescued bits of it, and that's what's here. Um, and then underneath, you can actually see these kind of little reconstructions. Again, this shows here the fragment, and then what it would look like. So we're on the way home, and I have a bag of cheese! <laughs> and he's got a Toblerone. 